Hey guys, welcome back to Valhalla. This is TJ, your gamer girl, signing on. So, last episode we started the game, met Jill, our main character, uh, Gillian, or Gil, who he's currently working on the bathroom, our boss, don't know, I don't remember the boss's name, and we got a whole spiel from Donovan Dawson, who runs the news, the one of the biggest local newspapers. I, I'll win to die. That was it. And now we're on to our next client. Welcome to Valhalla. What well, can I? Big gut punch. Fast. All right. Gut punch. Wants a big gut punch. No, I forgot the aged part. Here. You can actually do it then. Is it this crack house a bar? Hell hole crack house. Smells like dark urine and soap. I don't know how do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here. I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. The hell do you care? Payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. But hey, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended this place to- and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular. Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music, at least has decent taste. Hey, Jill. Oh, Dana. Hey, Jill. Where did you put the dish soap? Girls run out. But though the secret has always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. I hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's... An achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw the woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards, my boss had to show her the exit. I rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? Here's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up! Pile driver, honestly, I feel like suplexing him. Three. Johnson? Three. Planner? And four. Carpentry. Do you want a bigger? Yeah. 
here. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? Asking interesting questions, aren't you? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I think I heard Ron. They asked you if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I think that's a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies, I like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit too quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Fringe weaver. One on the high and... Oh, Jesus. Nine. Carmage. I... There is no way you can make this big. Try not to drink it too fast. It's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of me that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? Might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. I was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I lived midway through. And it was like. Once I burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy, porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Uh, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I I'm glad we have standards somewhere, I guess? I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to leave me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell's killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. I'm on a break! Save. It's now safe to keep playing. Great! <sighs> At least I didn't get locked up this time. Okay. Let's start at the end.
Yeah, sure. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, uh, sorry. It's so comfortable, I usually forget to have it on. Oh, you're a girl. Sorry. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist. Say P. Asagiri of the 7 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your at your service. Oh wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Uh, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford to hang over. Um, sorry. Did you get that? Sweet drink, preferably cold one. That's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. Maybe without the alcohol? Optional carry me. Oh, we want... that's aged. That's aged. Well, she said she wants ice in it. Small, sweet. Well, let's give it a try. Okay, okay. Sir. Blended. Okay, let's try this. There we go. There you are. Ah, yes! This is just what I needed, thanks! You will get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? You guys who... You the guys who deal with rioters and such? Riots? Oh, no, 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 you're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps. It's the ones with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously, we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. Oh, so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who sue those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Uh, what was that? Sorry, it's start of our Pledge of Allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat the people so they can arrive safely at the doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. 
I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time when we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out, uh, pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and the scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights. And they're shocking, right? Yeah, but, never mind. Oh, wait, did I mishear you? Act and you actually mean size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating size when people left everything said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. Oh, what kind of answer? Don't, don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Um, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Uh, don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy drink. A mercury blast. Uh, mercury blast. Fringe reliever. Ooh, that that might be too alcoholic for her. She says you can't have a hangover. Cobalt velvet. Brand teeny. And bad touch. Mercury Blast it is! On the rocks and blend it. There you are! Yep, this is like something still of a drink. Who? Oh, she's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. So short for Jillian! And no, that's not right. Jillian. Ju Julianne! Do not call me Julianne, please. Uh, sorry about that. No, please, excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angry nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. Hello, Jill. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <laughs> What made you become a white, white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since I felt this way, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Uh, huh. It's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same, too. Well, I joined the Valkyrie Corps, specifically, though. Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. 
Now that I think, uh, now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases as in, in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't know- I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's martini. It's Brantini, trust me, I'll get you one. Aged and mixed. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, um, classier places? Not that this place isn't nice, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad, I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Oh, she's coming back. I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check whatever ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. The Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus is rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar, true? Call it Afterlife. I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you an organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockers? You're pickpockers, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! A whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, and have a horrible way with me, then brutally murder me, don't you? I'm also violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or throw at her face. Give her something that will calm her down. Ah! Uh, no. Okay. Uh, we need a sweet drink? Blue Fairy. How about this? What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What, did you spice it up with roofies, TTX, pumpkins? God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they dock my paying tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, 
The BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... <sighs> Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find you a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. So the cashier that, Dan that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? Hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper lockers? What about it? Oh my god! How? Why? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try another drink. Is that negative? There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we're, on, we're pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That'd be it. You're at peace, but nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Huh? And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant that, and that your work does matter. Uh, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? It was good, I guess. It all me calm down a bit, I think. You alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you and I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How'd you fall unconscious? Are you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Well, why would you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Just if we're a piano man. Oh, piano man, not piano woman. Two. Three. Five. Uh, five. And three. On the box. And mix. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink the drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What'd he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist le left off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors his said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, Miss... Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Oh, you're one of those poor interns. 
I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I know I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became a de became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh! Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh! Why are you working there, then? Did I have something I shouldn't have? Uh, no! Don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do, huh? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh, no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brantini, please. Coming right up. <laughs> she's, she's still got the... I would say. Here. Yeah, that seems like the stuff. Cheers! Hey, Jill. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and bam. Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling the dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julian arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a Model Warrior... Oh! Childish dreams, yeah! I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. Fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams. Not that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AI, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked up something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell cleaning in my body. Sure. Um, who's he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Why are you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. 
Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, but others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye! Thank you and come again. Then that's it. We done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up and had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey, boss, do you feel like call do you feel like calling your boss is too impersonal? Hmm? No, really no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, it's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Fair enough. Ooh. No mistakes. 30% commission. 2400 bucks. Boom. I have more than 900. You cannot browse danger slash you. Visit JC Elton's. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. A hollow plant. How do you buy a hollow plant? Mickey concert. Rabbit Alice. Mickey concert. Uh. Why do you have a shirt call that says slot? Oh, shop. Uh, let's see. Hello, plant. Six hundred dollars. There we go. Jill bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She'll surely focus at work. Sweet. So that was a good thing. Alrighty. Going to end the episode here. Next episode, we'll start our next day at work. After reading some articles, of course, I'm curious. Dolan, this is the Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye bye.